Time now is 914. Men come up uh, all sorts of excuses. They come up with all sorts of excuses not to go and see a doctor. We know that. Not enough time or money or they figure they're feeling just fine. But it can be a serious mistake not to get regular checkups and develop a history with a regular doctor. And we are honoring Men's Health Month today with Dr. Brent Wallace from uh, People's Health. Dr. Wallace, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. And I was, you know, we were just talking in the break. You know, I, I turned 30 in December. I'm literally your whole audience. Convince me to start going to the doctor more. Why is this becoming, why is this such an issue, I guess, with the, with the male gender? It's just something that they just don't seem to want to do very often. Yeah, it's very odd, but um, but in general, you know, men do not go to the doctor. You know, they wait until there's a crisis or something critical going on. And um, what, you know, what we really want them to know is that it's important to prevent illness, you know, to do something before you actually have a problem. That's why it's important to make sure you have a primary care physician and to go see them regularly. And we know that there's a lot of things that, you know, the men typically suffer from more often. One of them is the heart. You have a lot of heart issues, especially it happens a lot in men. You know, what are some of the top risks, some of the things that men should start to look for? And what's a good age to really start getting tested and make sure your heart is working properly? Yeah, over half of men actually have heart disease, and a lot of them don't even realize that they have it because your blood pressure can be high without any symptoms at all. So I usually recommend, you know, starting at about age 30 to 35 that you start going to see the doctor regularly to identify some of those issues. You know, another big one is actually stroke, uh, which can be related to high blood pressure. And, and about 80% of strokes are completely preventable if you actually treat the underlying condition. And then the, the other big one really is depression and suicide. We don't mm -hmm. talk about it very much, and we really should. Men tend to kind of put up a strong face and, and mm -hmm. don't want to have those discussions with their family or their physician, but it's really critical to have those, those discussions with your doctor. Yeah, it's, it's certainly a, a big stigma, you know, among men, you know, just just trying to tough it out. You know, I'm OK, I'm OK. But we're seeing this thing change We're we're really getting more and more open. You see it in professional sports. A lot of men being very open about their mental issues and then going to the doctor and, and kind of putting it out there. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. And we also hear we know talk about exercise. You know, you have a lot of men living kind of a, a, a sedentary lifestyle. Maybe they're just not moving around as much. Uh, what should they do? You know, what's a good thing to kind of get the ball rolling as far as just getting enough physical exercise yeah I mean just to stay healthy you absolutely have to eat and exercise right and um and so I tell people you can start pretty slow you know simple walking or bike riding um, and then kind of advance as you go along because that'll really help you longer in life and then diet is really critical as well make sure you're not eating all of that junk food you know you can splurge every once in a while but it's really important to actually have a really well balanced diet and I know one of the last things here is prostate. We know the prostate is something that it is another thing, kind of like the heart. It's something that a lot of men seem to suffer from. They can have issues with that. When's a, light, when's a good time to start getting that checked on? Yeah, it's really one of the most co common types of cancer and also one of the most common reasons that people die from cancer. So, you know, there's a lot of debate over screening and whether it should be done. So it's really a decision to have with your physician. But if you have a family history of prostate cancer, you absolutely need to get it checked out and talk to your doctor about how's the best way to do that. Gotcha. Dr. Brent Wallace, thank you so, so much for joining us here talking about Men's Health Awareness Month, getting that information out there to us. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.